So, today I have uh, wanted another bay. Yeah, that's basically it. This time it was a little bit harder to do. So, what I modded was variant Lucius, Lucifer, whatever you call it. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. So there are three things I've modded with this bay. First off, the ring. It just has metal inside of it and like a bit of like glue. Next up is Lucius chip, which I added metal around it. That's what it originally had with this like kind of sil silverish purple texture around it. I tried to mimic that and added metal inside. And the hardest one of all, which was the 2D disc. This was very hard to incorporate because I didn't know how to do it. So, but I just basically like glued and then like I just tried to peel it off until it gets to this point. So, yeah. And now, test launch. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a tiny barrier that circles around Lucifer now instead of it just being bland and just like a pink plastic. I think this will give a better look. You can see now there's a, a pink barrier that surrounds it, but because of the height of the bay, this will not be effective against like the original Speedstorm stuff or anything around its height. And I'll show off like kind of a demonstration between, let's say, a lower bay, which is this recolor of Nidhogg, and a higher bay, which is going to be Fafnir. Oh, shoot, did it first? Okay, so. You can hear it now, like the, the little flicking noises. That's the rubber blades being hit. Okay, my, uh, what is it? my the driver for this is not the best, so yeah. Yeah, you can see it. Or not see it, but you can kind of hear it hitting the barrier. But that's because it's a lower disc. And it's still lost. Okay, you don't hear it as much anymore. Because it's hitting the top or the that blade? Or ring, I don't know. It's hitting the ring of the bay blade now. Or the layer instead of the barrier, so it's not going to be a that of against taller opponents. Let's try one more time. Can you just see it hit only the ring? Which, yeah. And it still loses. Well, so, I'm gonna get more of a shorter bit, which is Salamander. Modded version, by the way. There we go. Oh, wow, even with. Okay. Even with this, it's not even hitting it. Okay, that's interesting. Oh wait. Okay, now it's hitting the barrier. Hey, one! Yeah, when it tips over, it does hit the barrier. Hey, won that. Neat. Especially this particular Beyblade is that it's worse against same spin, and I'll show it now. With Hyperion. 
Uh oh. It loses kind of instantly. It's not that effective against same spin. Even in the anime, no matter how overpowered it is, it could still lose. Okay. No way. <laughs> I didn't even launch that correctly and it still lost. Dang! Oh, up against an impossible play to beat, Cyclone Ragnarok. It's probably gonna stain it with the pain in it. Okay, can, yeah, this time you can hear the rubber blades. Plus it's even moving Ragnarok. The downside of it is that it lost stamina so quickly. Okay, one more round. I just want to see it with the bullet, or the modded bullet driver. And they won't let me. Okay. Failed attempt. And now this time with two bays, because this is a theme. Helios and Hyperion. Jeez! Avenge Helios! <laughs> that was a strong hit. Okay. Okay, this time it's more. Oh, shoot! And it lost. Yeah, the, against taller bays or the ba or bays that are the exact same height, it does nothing. <laughs> it's, yeah, not that good. Hey! Jeez. Hey, you won that so um, Okay, it won that time. So that's going to be it for Variant Lucius. This was an interesting mod to do. And also look how stained the driver is from the paint. Oh my god. But yeah, that, that's going to be it. See ya.